by the nine and four welcome to the library i am david and i will be introducing you to the realms of jamamar please note these early entries are nothing more than introduction to help familiarize yourself with the various intricacies and details of the realms of jamamar the realms of jamamar are the colloquial term for the various planets and other such living habitations throughout the Cradella sector of the Nine Wings Galaxy. As a setting, you will find everything from high tech to high fantasy to virtually neither of the two. It is a world of wonder, mystery, and history. And I hope to show you just a bit of the wonder of it via these entries. So let us begin. Of course, at the beginning. In the ancient times, the prehistory of the modern realm. <laughs> <clears throat> there were the gods and the elder races and they lived together fairly harmoniously with the elders guiding the younger races those races evolved or put into the world by the gods they bestowed technology wonder magic to the younger races and help them find their niche, what they were good at, what they represented. But as all good things, this time came to an end. The elders went to war, and these are known as the Wars of Feather and Scale. They ended quite apocalyptically, unsurprisingly and a great terror was loosed upon the realms. This terror existed for an unknown period of time, as even to the great time walkers of the realms, the temperate volume of these years is self-contained and unstable in length and duration. That aside, not getting too deep into the weeds, this great terror was eventually defeated and the elder races scattered or generally devolved from their places of great power and dominance. For the next several millennia, everybody just got back to trying to live life in a world post elders, post chaos. And then the terror returned. Slowly, insidiously, as these things are wont to do. And then began what is known as the modern ages of the realms. The ages of the mortal gods. You see, to face this terror returning from time, Long forgotten, a series of mortals, generations in fact, over a period of thousands of years, rose up and defeated the terror, its disciples, its machinations and fail-safes, its car villainous, cartoonish attempts of returning or to some way inflicting terror upon the realms. During this period, these mortals rose and defeated their foes and were rewarded with godhood. Unlike the gods of many other settings, this was not the end of their road. Just a change in venue. You see, the mortal gods of the realms do not sit 
around and hand vague prophecies to their followers. They do do that, but that's mostly to ensure that their followers are not weak. For the mortal gods know, beyond a shadow of a doubt in fact, that if you are not able to rise to the challenge of evil or chaos or just injustice on your own with your fellows, the gods can't save you. Sure, they can protect you from this threat or that threat. They cannot protect you from your own folly. And that does typify the thoughts of the realms. After the defeat of the Great Terror, whose name is Vanson, by the way, after his defeat, his machinations sundered, his last gambits thwarted, the mortal gods, at this point, the preeminent divine pantheon. There was a divine war in the middle of all that, but again, for later exploration. After the defeat of Anson, the total defeat, um, completed upon the bridge of the newly discovered, or recently discovered, Expedus Primus, a space vessel of magnanimous size a relic of the prehistory ages and upon discovery and reclamation of this vessel the age of stars began the realms had already started to expand from the core world of Jamamar itself at this point of course but the discovery of the Primus opened up the entire cluster. For when I say it's a big ship, magnanimous in size, I mean it's bigger than the planet Earth. 10,000 miles from stem to stern, holding billions within its hull. The realms expanded to where they currently are one small interstellar war and divine conflict later. The Cradellus Cluster. Upon these lands, the people of Jamamar once tread. Back in the ancient days, before the War of Feather and Scale, the same age as the Expedus Primus and its sister ships. Yes. There's an entire fleet of these things. Granted, the Primus is the predominant, preeminent, and largest of them, as it was a fusion of both the Elder Races, the Dragons and the Analar, and all other known powers of the time. But with the Expedus fleet, and the spreading of the realms, rediscovery of old worlds once colonized, and peoples once fought, now a part of the greater realms. There is no central government of the realms, of course. No theocracy, the gods do not rule from on high, while the gods most definitely have their weight and some of them have established sovereignties of their own where they do rule. To the general masses, there is only one international and interplanetary governance system, the councils. To put it simply, they are business and political fusions 
meant to grease the wheels between sovereignties as the realms expand across quite literally light years and transportation between them takes so many various forms from starships with FTL engines to people casting spells and opening a portal from one planet to another all are valid within the realms all have been researched or brought forward by somebody the councils help maintain peace between the recognized sovereignties of the realms. The vast quantity of the realm areas, the various planets, do not fall under any sovereignty beyond the general claim by the realms that all within the Cradalis sector is under their purview. And as no power has risen to counter this the planets are theirs the systems are theirs to be explored and rediscovered and this is where we find ourselves on the edge of exploration and enlightenment many secrets of the ancient past have been rediscovered personages from before the war of feather and scale walk amongst the people or hide in the shadows and watch to see if history will replay itself I hope you'll come with me and enjoy the exploration of these realms I have been David and in the name of the nine and four I wish you well have a good day